Today on WFMS, we have some reminders and dates to be aware of as we begin our week. Tech Talk Tuesday is back with some important information. Your books are on sale now. Tears for Christ will be meeting this week. Are you interested in auditioning for the Color Guard? Our Friends Club will meet tomorrow afternoon. We want to remind you that the board game and chess club will meet tomorrow afternoon. Soccer Team A plays for the championship tomorrow at 6.15. We have a special basketball announcement for you today. The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm PT. And I'm Nora. Welcome to your home for news announcements. And more. On, on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. TFC, Teams for Christ, will be meeting tomorrow morning in the Studio Theater from 7.50 to 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Underwood or Mrs. Wright or Mr. Brewer. For students interested in debate, acting, or public speaking, we want to remind you that the Forensics Club will meet tomorrow afternoon in Mr. Snow's room, Blue A 144, after school. If you have any additional questions, please see Mr. Snow. Hope to see you tomorrow. If you enjoy traditional board games and chess, the Board Games and Chess Club is the place for you, and it meets tomorrow and every Wednesday from 345 to 430 in Silver Pod Room 102, and it is open to students in all grades. If you are interested in purchasing your yearbook for 8th graders, if you are wanting to take out an ad, just visit the Farragut Middle website and click on Want to Buy Your Yearbook link. The prices for the yearbook range from $45 to $69. Order your yearbook today. That's it for announcements today. Now for our Tech Talk Tuesday. Welcome to Tech Talk Tuesday, where we will discuss and present tech info that impacts teens in various ways. Last week, we introduced the concept of what is a digital citizen and defined what a digital citizen is. So today, we will watch a short video about the basics of how to be a good digital citizen. Commenting, DMing, posting, recording. They're all ways we use technology to engage in our digital world. Sometimes it's to share a funny cat video, complete a school assignment, or to keep in touch with our friends and family. Other times we use technology to innovate, collaborate, and create. Whatever your purpose, you are a digital citizen. And as a digital citizen, you have the power to utilize technology to make positive change and engage in a community well beyond borders. Digital citizen is more than a title. Like the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. A good digital citizen uses technology responsibly and appropriately. Just like being a citizen of your local community or country, there are guidelines and expectations that a digital citizen should live by. You may not realize it, but whenever you use the internet, you leave behind a digital footprint. That means that every time you leave a comment, share a post, send an email or message, use an app, or browse the internet, you're leaving a trail of your online history. This history has the potential to be seen by others, family and peers, teachers, college admission officers, and even future employers. It can also be tracked in an online database. Now this footprint isn't like one in the sand that quickly gets washed away. A digital footprint follows you for the rest of your life. So consider how you want to represent yourself online. Take a moment to think before you post. Ask yourself, is it kind? Will it hurt someone? Are you sharing too much information? Does it follow good etiquette? And would you normally say or share this in person? This video gave us a broad overview on how we, we can be a good digital citizen and it gives us a lot to unpack. We will begin addressing some of those individual concepts in the coming weeks. One of, one of the th things that stood out to me was that 
was that everything I do online is permanent and will follow me all my life. I agree. It is so important to think before you post. One of the things that stood out to me and that is so important is to be responsible and respectful when online. Technology, and specifically the internet, is a tool that can be used in many ways to help us in our day-to-day -day lives. In so many ways, and being respectful and responsible is the use of that tool is vital. Stay tuned in this coming weeks as we dig into some more of the specific areas of digital citizenship. We hope we've given you a few things to think about as we continue our first series on the importance of being a responsible and respectful digital citizen. That's it for Tech Talk Tuesday. Now for our sports brief and some special guests with a special announcement. Hi, I'm Blair. And I'm Heidi. Now for a quick sports update. Our basketball season is in full swing and we have a game tonight against Powell at Powell tonight. And we will take on Vine at home on Thursday night. And school games for girls will be at 1 o'clock and for boys at 2.15. All other games, our girls will play at 4.30 and boys at 5.45. Now for a special announcement from Coach Allen. Good morning, Farragut Middle School. Coach Allen here on behalf of the boys and girls basketball team and Coach Mack. We need your help. Yes, I've lost my voice because it's basketball season and I'm not even yelling at the officials yet. It's just our kids. But we need you guys to come to all the games. I have schedules in my room. Coach Palmer is selling season tickets. We do have the best student body in the whole league. Not West Valley, not Hardin Valley. We need you guys to be the best cheer pep group that this county's ever seen. There's theme night. There's dress up night. Please get your season tickets. Come to the games. Our first home game is this Thursday versus Vine. But come to the away games too if you can. We need you. Thank you so much. Come on. Thank you, Coach Allen. Let's get out there in support of our Admirals. The FMS girls soccer team will play in the championship versus West Valley tomorrow evening at 6.15. The game is at the Farragut High School soccer field, and the team would appreciate the support of all their classmates. Please come out and cheer loud. Would you be interested in trying out for the Winter Guard? Modern Winter Guard is a competitive performance-based activity which incorporates choreographed staged dancing, and manipulation of equipment, such as flags and prop rifles and sabers, also known as spinning. If you'd be interested in trying out for the Winter Guard, here are the addition auditions. We are expanding our program this year to include three teams, middle school, junior varsity, and varsity. No experience required. Just bring athletic clothing, a positive attitude, and a willingness to learn. If you're interested, auditions will start November 7th through the 11th for, from 4 to 5.30 p.m., and the FHS Auditorium. If you have any questions, feel free to email our guard director at taylor.duncan007 at gmail.com. That's over sports. Now back to the news desk. Now for our attendance matters moment. Did you know that a consistent school attendance schedule will provide many unique benefits for students? One of those unique benefits is structure. When a child regularly engages in the same activities, they will be more likely to develop structure. Structure enlists a better sense of time management into your child that will be useful in many avenues of their life. Remember, attendance is important. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals News Network. We hope you have a great day. And evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.